Brendan and Yuande start to assemble the components of the electric horse. So this is a fantastic bit of engineering. It's obviously working very smoothly. They had these kind of mechanisms around the 16th, 17th, 18th century, but the real innovation was adding this electric motor. So on board Titanic, this was a real novelty for them to be doing all the work that I've been doing by hand with electricity. I'm still trying to work out what muscle this worked. <laughs> <laughs> the electric horse was part of Titanic's fully equipped gym, catering for the growing interest in health and fitness among the fashionable elite. Typical gyms were the preserve of men. But Titanic's broke the mould, offering women exclusive access from 10am till 1pm, so long as they were properly dressed. Yuande's going for a workout with historian Hallie Rubenhold. Oh my word, what are you wearing? <laughs> well, you may laugh, but you're going to be wearing something just like this. Wait, am I wearing this oh, to yes. exercise in? Oh, absolutely. Oh my goodness. And not only do you have to do it because I say you have to do it, but because women actually do. Oh my goodness. A hundred years ago, society was obsessed with etiquette. Upper class dress code demanded that women wore different outfits morning, afternoon and evening. On Titanic, packed with the wealthy and famous, the social pressure was intense. One regular transatlantic traveller, Lady Asquith, complained that she was forever changing her clothes. The fashion was for an extreme hourglass figure. Ooh. Ah. And that meant a sturdy corset had to be worn at all times. A bit tighter than that. Including wow. during exercise. That's painful. Time for our 21st century gym bunnies to attempt to work out Edwardian style. Are you having a hard time? Yeah. I'm having a hard time. My ribs are killing me. The people dressed in 21st century clothing, and I'm here dressed in latex so. and sports bras, and we've got on um, yeah. petticoats and corsets. Women weren't meant to be exercising strenuously. You know, women were thought not to be able to breathe like men. Yeah. It was thought that um, strenuous exercise such as this would uh, lower a woman's ability to conceive, would impair her fertility. Yeah. God, my hat is falling off. I mean, I d it's totally impractical to go cycling with a hat like this. I know, I'm, I'm trying to keep a steady head just to keep the hat uh, on too. I know. I'm so ready to get out of this course, so I can't even tell you. <laughs>